Welcome back to the TMBC Wake YouTube channel. haven't entered the surfboard giveaway yet make sure to get over to that video and get yourself entered i'll put a link right above me i'll put a link in the description below and i'll put a link at the end of this video all right i know what you're thinking where in the heck did i get this crazy cool tie-dye shirt well the answer to that question is i made it myself and it's actually pretty crappy uh, i was just playing around one day uh, and I'm just wearing it because it's kind of like my workout shirt or my work shirt. I don't care if I get anything on it because today I'm going to be applying my Hydrosilex ceramic coating. So I've got the bottle right here. It comes with a spray applicator. So I'll put that on. Um, it actually tells you how to apply. If you read those directions right there, it tells you how to apply this for different surfaces. So basically if you read that, it tells you for smooth surfaces, you mist on and you immediately wipe clean and then you take a, another microfiber towel and you buff it. Then if you read about the rough surface, you just mist it on and let it dry. Um, and if it is interior, such as my vinyl, then you mist it on and you basically skip the, the cleaning or the wiping off and you just buff it. I'm gonna be doing all three of those different applications today. Because I've got my tower, which is a rough surface, I've got my gel coat, which is a smooth surface, and I've also got my vinyl and my C-deck as interior surfaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on this. I'm doing this application in my garage because I watched a video about applying this and it suggests not applying it in direct sunlight. Um, so I have my doors open a little bit to let some extra light in, um, but I'm, I don't want direct sunlight on any of the surfaces that I'm going to be applying it to. So I got my spray top on there. I've also got a microfiber towel for cleaning and a microfiber towel for buffing. Actually, I actually have a couple more packs of these if I decide that one gets a little too dirty or soiled or what have you. I also have my cleaner that I use to clean my boat all the time, keep my gel coat clean. I know there's going to be some people out there that are going to hate on me for this, but this is half water, half vinegar solution. Uh, works great to keep your boat clean. Um, there's going to be a lot of people out there that tell you that this takes the, the wax off of your boat. I usually wax at least once a year, if not twice a year, um, and I'm always using this as my maintainer. Um, so. To be honest, uh, the only, only reason why I need wax is to help with sun damage and oxidation. Um, so, uh, you know, I guess that's up to you, but I, I, I found that this solution works really good. I actually usually put a little bit of Windex in here too, and that's why it's got a little bit of a bluish color, but not much, just a tiny bit. Um, so, so what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm just going to be spot cleaning. So my boat is pretty clean right now. As you can see, I did clean it before I put it away for the season. Um, but I did notice a few little spots that I'm going to spot clean along the way and I'll just check that as I'm applying the hydro silex um, And I'll just clean this ahead of it and make sure it's dry before I put the hydro silex on. All right, let's start doing this
I tried to film so you'd be able to see the effect of putting the hydrostatics on and then uh, buffing it off. Uh, and it just didn't seem to come out on video and, and show you really well how it uh, changed things. So here's my initial reaction on how well and easy the hydrostatics was to apply. Um, and also how I think it's going to do based on what I can see so far. Um, so putting it on, uh, if I was to compare it to a wax, I think was super easy. I mean, I'm just literally spraying it on uh, and just misting it, just doing a fine mist. And then you just take your one rag and wipe it clean. And that rag is getting a little moist and maybe slightly dirty, depending on how clean your boat was before as, as you go. And then you take your dry rag and then you buff that off. And that rag never even really got very moist at all. It, it stayed pretty dry, so I, I really didn't even need to change that rag out. But before I did the bottom of the boat, I did change out the I did change out both rags because my wet rag was getting kind of dirty, a little bit dirty. The application was super easy if you ask me. And I think based on where you can apply it, um, it actually goes well beyond what wax can do because I was able to put it on my vinyl, on my sea deck, and on the tower. When I put it on the tower, I would just mist the rag and then I would just wipe it onto the tower and that seemed to work really good. I didn't have to do any buffing or anything like that on the tower. Um, when I put it onto the vinyl, I would just mist it on and then I would just wipe it off. Um, and then when I would put it on the sea deck, I would just mist it on and then I would wipe it in. If you were just to mist it onto the sea deck and leave it, I did notice that sometimes when I would take a little while to get back to a spot on the sea deck, it would start to beat up and kind of dry a little bit. So you want to wipe it in, it seems like. Um, so I, I just made sure to do that as I went a little quicker than I would do the, the gel coat or the vinyl. But all in all, as I did everything, it was making the gel coat look immediately more glossy uh, and it was making the vinyl and the tower and the sea deck immediately look like it was more new. Um, so for example, I would, might have some, some kind of like uh, lightning on the gray on the tower from just uh, water uh, hitting it and, and kind of, you kind of get that hard water sort of lightness or whiteness. And as I put the hydrostatics on, it was actually making it look new again. Um, so I'm very, very happy with it so far. I put it on my screens, I put it on my mirror, I put it on my, my windshield, and I'm just going to see how all of that stuff works out. Now, all that being said, if this product works half as good as it's advertised, I'm definitely sold. I'm, I was definitely skeptical and still am skeptical about how well it will hold up, um, but so far, just touching the stuff, uh, it's, it's pretty crazy feeling and, and just how it went on. Um, so far, I love it way better than wax because wax gets into all kinds of places that you can, you'd have to spend time with a toothbrush getting it out. Um, and I'm not having that problem with this stuff. You can also see that I only used about half of a bottle and I actually probably used more than I needed to. I mean, my rag was getting pretty wet at times. Um, so, uh, I, I was very skeptical about whether or not it would take only half a bottle to do my whole boat. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, and that they met their expectations on that. So I have enough to do it another time. Now this bottle of Hydrosilex was $80 uh, and I found that deal on eBay. So really I truly need to see how this product is gonna hold up over time because I'm definitely not gonna be spending 40 bucks or 80 bucks every couple of weeks. Um, I more intend this to be my, my seasonal wax um, that I might have to do up to twice a year. Um, and then 80 bucks a year would be worth it to me. So I will report back on this product uh, and give a later review. Basically what it'll come down to for me is if I don't have to use my vinegar and water uh, to wipe down after every time I go out, if I can literally just take my towel or shirt, uh, t-shirt, t-shirts is what, old t-shirts is what I use, um, and go and wipe down all the water off the boat and it's spot free, um, that and it, it seems to hold up uh, for several weeks or, or half of the summer or the whole summer, um, then that's where I'm gonna be sold. So that's my video for this week. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please leave comments below if you have something to say about it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified by future videos. We'll see you next week.